Hey, what's up you guys? Uh, so this video, it's really, it's kind of like a channel update. Um, that's more or less what the title of the video is going to be. Um, and the main thing I want to cover is really just um, sort of like a disclaimer as to what the future of my channel or like my content in general would consist of, if even anything. Um, and also just to kind of like explain my reasonings as to why and everything like that. So. Right off the bat, I won't really have anything going on in the background just because I'm more so just like rambling through my thoughts. Um, but the main thing is, it's just that I think the game visually is amazing. Like, I, I feel like you can't argue with that, that the game itself, like from an aesthetic um, like point of view and from a visual perspective, the game is like ridiculous. Like, it's fantastic. It's amazing. You know, it's clearly a 15 out of 10. Like, it, you know, it checks off everything except for the competitive aspect, at least in my opinion. Um, and I've, I've streamed a couple of times in the past, and I've expressed this throughout the stream too, but I haven't actually made a video about it, at least onto YouTube. But the thing is, it's like, the game right now, in its current state, like, you, you can visually see it. Like, you can actually test this for yourself. Like, you can actually play it and grind it and see this for yourself. Um, but it is also at the same exact time, it is an opinion, but for me, it's just that the game itself, it really just caters to, you can only really use top tier, and that's the only way that you're actually really going to have any, any real success in the game in its current state, you know, and that's not too uncommon um, for most games, like when they're recently out. The only thing is, it's just, in my opinion, I feel like it's just, it's taken a little too long for a patch to come out, just because... In my opinion, there are some blatant things to change within characters in terms of like certain damage outputs are just kind of ridiculous or certain frame data is just like a little obnoxious, but overall I feel like characters in general they kind of stand in a pretty good spot on their own for the most part. It's really just the mechanics of the game um, and a lot of the, the frame data for a lot of basic things like universally are just like so fucking horrendous in this current state, you know, so it's like it, it doesn't really... I don't think that there really needs to be that big of a character patch itself, but there needs to be a huge, like, bug fix and a huge mechanical patch, in my opinion, you know? And for that reason, that's why I haven't been playing this game. I haven't really been labbing much. I haven't really been doing much of anything with the game. I literally pop in the game just to check what's in the store, what to buy. I check the towers to see if there's a skin that I might want, and then that's it. I'm done. And I turn the game off, and I go on Overwatch, or I just do something else, or I go on Netflix or something, you know? And that's basically it. And that's kind of what I'm sort of branching off into is that with the channel, it's like up until the patch comes, I'm, I'm just not playing the game, period. Like I'm not making any content for the game at all. Like I would like to do like a Maniac's Manual or something, like I would like to break down content, but I, I would need your feedback, you know, I would need to know exactly what to do because I don't really want to start all the way from the beginning necessarily if people already grasp that. Or I may just start it all together and then just keep on going from there and then I'll just um, extend off into even more videos or more in-depth videos if it's requested, you know, but like all that stuff aside, it's like I just I don't have the drive like to play the game in its current state. You know, it's one thing where, you know, it's like, okay, you know, like the game, like it just has its few flaws and you can look past it and just still just like deal with it and grind it out. In its current state, it's like the whole fucking game is just like a hot ass mess, you know? And if you look at my previous videos, the MK11, um, like my impressions and suggested changes, all of that stuff, I still stand by it to this day. Like still like to this very moment right now, I still stand by everything that I said. And I would still like to see everything that was mentioned in those two videos implemented, you know, just because there are that many topics, there are like those many things that do need to be addressed in a game, you know, just because like it, it's too messy. It feels like it hasn't been tested, you know, like it's just it it's clearly not finished and it's somewhat OK that it hasn't been finished just because it kind of rushed to release the game. But for that reason, it's like I don't I don't have the initiative like me as a person. I don't like jumping into stuff when it could it could easily be done better, you know, or it can be done better and they're just holding off on it. You know, I'm like, I'm, I just don't see the point in engaging in that. I don't see the point in grinding that out when it's very likely going to get adjusted. Like, I don't get the point, you know, like, I, I don't see the reasoning for it. And I don't see the reason in frustrating myself and trying to deal with all this crap. And then on top of that, it's like trying to get online and then a problem with that online. The fact that online on default online is strictly for casuals the default mode is just like in justice 2 
the default mode for this game online is fucking casual friendly. It's just custom this, custom that, custom everything. You literally have to turn on the feature for competitive mode. That That's one thing that irks me. You have to turn it on every single time that you hop online and every single time that you think that you leap a fucking match to. You have to turn that feature on. That's one. Two, you can't deny, unless you're doing like just standard like player matches, you can't decline anybody on Wi-Fi, which is stupid. Like you, you just Wi-Fi, in my opinion, I don't give a fuck whether you use Wi-Fi or not. Like in terms of a person, like this isn't a personal thing. Like I don't care. But my thing is, if you're on Wi-Fi, there should be an entirely separate server just for Wi-Fi users. And then an entirely other server for wired users. Because it's like, people are just like, oh, well, you know, I paid for the game. So it's like, how can you um, deny me, you know, like a privilege to like playing online or whatever the fuck the reasoning is. The thing is, what people don't really realize, it's like, think of it like a membership. Think of it like, okay, let's say that you join a gym, right? It's not the gym's responsibility to provide you with sneakers. It's not the gym's respons responsibility to provide you with uh, workout clothes, you know? Like, like all these things, it's like just because you bought the game, which is essentially, you can think of it like your membership, just because you got the game, it doesn't mean that you're just entitled to every single thing, you know? It's like, the, the main purpose of it, you know, it's like clearly what they had in mind is that they want to create this competitive online scene. They're, they're gonna, there's gonna need to be a cutoff point, you know? Like, there, there is gonna need to be some kind of segregation or some kind of divide between Wi-Fi users and wired. Because people, they, they're so, they exaggerate so much, they're like, oh my god, but you know, like, being wired is like so expensive, or there's a, whole, a million and one fucking excuses. It's not that expensive. It's not gonna break your fucking bank to spend 10 bucks to get a cable to connect your PlayStation to your router. If your router is all the way in the other house, like the uh, the other end of the house, that that's something that you had to work out. You know, it's like that's just that's a that's a you thing. That's a you problem. You know, and it's not fair that everybody else in the world has to fucking suffer because of your specific situation. You know, like that that's just how is that fair? You know, uh, like on a global aspect, how is that fair? Um, so th that's what it is. It's like online itself too. It's like you have the casual aspect of the game that's not enjoyable, and then you have the competitive aspect and the online aspect that's just not enjoyable whatsoever. You know, like when you play ranked, you can't decline people that are on Wi-Fi. You can only decline it if it exceeds a certain amount of ping. And then even with that, sometimes that happens, sometimes it doesn't. And then also on top of that, you can't even filter ping. Like, I, I don't necessarily mind that the game is not region locked but i completely hate that you just get matched with people literally anywhere in the world i don't like that like you should be able to decide one you should either have like a ping like filter or a region filter like i don't want to be playing people all the way in the other end of the world like by you know like being forced to like if it's a choice and it's a choice but i don't want to be forced to play people all the way across the fucking world where the ping even if they're wired the ping is still going to be like 200 ping because of the distance that they are you know, and I have no choice but to play them, you know, like I can't decline it or else I start losing points and all that shit. Like, it's so stupid, you know, it's, it's like there's just too many things in the game in general that's just trying to accommodate to everybody when realistically that's not a realistic thing to to strive for. You know, it's like you can't please everyone. That's, that's just not going to happen, you know. Um... But, but that's really all that it is. It's like, th the game overall is just frustrating. And it's been frustrating, and that's kind of why I stopped playing it and stopped doing shit with it since, like, two weeks ago. You know, that was kind of, like, one of my last vids was, like, a week ago or two weeks ago. And that's kind of been it. Like, I haven't played matches or anything just because I don't, I don't see the point in it. I'm like, I'm going to get annoyed. And a lot of the times, even if within losses, it's like, I'm not learning anything. I'm just like, okay, I couldn't have done anything better because this character is just too fucking stupid, you know? I'm like, I couldn't have done anything, and then the mechanics aren't going to help me that much in that situation either. So, you know, it's like a whole bunch of back and forth stuff like that. Um, so, what I would be doing is I may occasionally, occasionally be doing art streams, and or maybe doing overwatch streams you know and that might just be it you know if you guys want to tune into that you're more than welcome to if you don't that's totally fine and i may be uploading just like random shit from either or you know onto the youtube channel and whether again whether you watch it that's fine if you don't you don't that that's okay but it's just to give you a heads up as to that's more or less what the future of this channel is kind of going to be up until there is a legitimate patch you know like i'm not i'm not saying that oh once the patch comes then i'll start playing it it's like no if the patch comes and it's a joke of a fucking patch, I'm still not going to play the game, you know? 
like that that's really just what it comes down to because again it's like i have i am trying to be optimistic for the game i do have high hopes that they will make good changes but the thing is it's like again they had to make good changes and they had to make the appropriate changes for the game for it to survive just because currently it's like realistically people are not enjoying this game like at all like every single day all over my timeline on twitter on anything really it's always a meme about this game it's a meme about mk11 and how shitty it is how scrubby it is how casual friendly it is how bad the online mode is like there's so much negative feedback for the game and a lot of it really it, it is justified you know it like you really can't tell people it's like oh well you have to be appreciative and you know like you should at least commend men for, commend them for this this and this and this it's like there's really not much to commend other than the visuals like that, that's really it like past that there's really not much to give them credit for past that it's like everything else it just looks like they just slapped it together and we're, we're basically unpaid testers right now because this game didn't have any testing it, does, it realistically doesn't look like it had any testing at all like all the videos that everybody's posting i'm pretty sure that they're analyzing all of that you're not getting paid for all these things that you're finding you know you're not getting paid for all these bugs that you're finding for them and then they're hopefully most likely gonna wind up fixing in the future you know clearly their testers even if they were professional testers even if they were diligent and competent testers they they won't find everything obviously but they would have covered a good chunk that everyone is currently finding now you know like it's just simple testing like very simple shit that we're finding you know that sh should have been fixed should have been addressed before the game was even released regardless whether it was rushed or not you know um so so that's really it um so again like i was saying before i may do maniacs manual like i may do kind of like um they're really they're not meant to be dummy guides necessarily but i guess that's what you can kind of think of it um just to cover ov over all the like basics in fighting games like all the fighting game like fundamentals and all that stuff like understanding frame data and oki um okay yeah i was i was delving into more like i was gonna say hard knockdowns but i guess the same shit um but like neutral footsies um anti-airing conditioning reads um set play option selects um cancel advantage like basically all the components you know that go into it um and but yeah i mean outside of that i'm I'm not doing anything for this game whatsoever until there's a, a viable patch to come you know or th or that drops um so yeah that's basically it like i don't really know what more to add um you guys you can post this you can comment this um but i'm just saying it's like i don't care if you taught me to do ranked matches i'm, I'm not fucking doing ranked period like <laughs> i'm just i'm not doing it like unless you pay me and you pay me a substantial amount i'm not doing it like i'm not putting myself to that misery you know like i i i feel like that should just be a common sense thing like if you don't enjoy something if it's not enjoyable if it constantly aggravates you why would you willingly do it you know it's like i don't know um so yeah that's basically it i don't really know what more to add past this this is really just meant to be like a short brief um update and that's kind of all that it is uh so yeah if there are futures to come up like soon there will either be maniacs manual just to break down fighting game components and maybe breaking down like the mechanics within the game itself at least how they currently work um or they may be art videos like art streams i might do them like sped up or something or overwatch so those are the three main videos and that's kind of it like i'm not doing i'm not focusing on combo videos because this game doesn't even have fucking combos like realistically it really doesn't um but yeah that's pretty much it so hope you guys have a good day or night um again leave feedback chat it up in the comments like i'll try to get back to your replies like i know that you guys replied in other videos i'm trying to get through everything just because there are comments literally from all of my videos because i've had numerous uploads like it isn't just mk11 like i'm still getting shit from like mkx and injustice too you know so it's like i'm trying to, to like sift through everything on top of managing my own personal life and everything um so yeah that's basically it and again i hope you guys have a good day or night and take care